all right so i'm back with another quick unboxing video so you have here the bdh uh shifter this is the uh the newer model the sequential model so um this is the uh upgrade from its uh predecessor which was the um just the h pattern you know they also called it the bazooka so uh yeah let's take a quick look at it let me just know that i got mine from directly from uh Murray motorsports It's not that big. You just slide this up. Let's give it a little wiggle. All right. So um, this is the shifter exactly what I expected to look like got the hardware got that the knob for the shifter All right, so let's take it on seems kind of tight alright so now we got the shifter up so I'm guessing they had this there just to protect it from like fingerproofing while they were trying to put it in so the unboxing was uh, pretty practical nothing crazy you know it's a small company so uh, it was it, I got it safely and um, so far no scratches or anything well I guess because that's the back side but yeah see got a little thing right there let's see it scratches off all right so probably when they mounted it for testing it got a little bit of the powder coating from the uh, profile that they mounted it on but yeah like I said this is a pretty pricey shifter the only reason why I got it because I kind of like the first one but I just didn't have it in me to pull the trigger for a one trick pony at the time which I'm sure it's very good but the fact that it only was this H pattern? I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't do it. I was already spoiled from Fanatic that gave you both the. Um, let me just do this in the meantime. That gave you both H pattern and sequential. Such an easy go. So I did watch a few videos from the guy over at BDH. You know, well, props to him. I saw on Instagram that he wasn't doing too well from a stroke so that kind of took a while from, uh, um, from it took a while in making this I guess it kind of slowed down productions a little bit but he seems to be doing good now so props to him and uh, I'm just going to take out the tensioner so so far as I'm looking I mean I, I hope that's oil and not rust yeah that do seem a little yeah, rusted in there. So, I'll see how it goes. Alright. So, yeah, the design, let's talk about the design. I'm not particularly crazy about the design, you know, but I like it. And uh, this is more for like functionality. You know, everything I had so far usually have that portal coating, but I, I'm very. This is a very welcome addition to have that nice chrome look. You know, this. You know, the fact that it does both sequential. You know, it gives you that that box feeling, gear shift. If that's that's what you're looking for. You know, it's the only one of its kind, so you can't really compare it to anything else. So you can't look. There's not a cheaper option in this. All right. Seems like that's sequential. I mean, that's H pattern. It's gonna be hard to do this while it's not mounted. So probably you do another video when it's mounted. But let's do what the main thing I'm curious about. Is. So I guess you do that. Well, here you gotta give it up. Let's put it in neutral first. Give it a little wiggle. Gotta 
figure out what each man. So not yet. Let me let me know. Let me tighten this up a little bit. Let's see if see, I hear, you're supposed to hear a click, from my understanding. This is very stiff. Oh, there you go. Oh, not yet. I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. All right, so I needed both hands to try to get it. So um, what happened was you gotta wiggle this a little bit till you hear that click. So now I got it in. Wait, I think I might've messed it up again. Yeah, trying to do this while it's not mounted is not doing it any justice. All right, so that was my second attempt to try to get it from H pattern to uh, sequential. So let's see if I got it this time. All right, here we go. I can't do forward because of the weight. Yeah, so you kind of get it. All right, so the thing is, you got to try to hold this while, I guess, navigating this left to right. To hear a click and that's how you engage either sequential or H pattern so um, it's a smooth operation but you got it's you kind of kind of do it with both hands or probably if it was mounted it'll be a lot easier because it's such a powerful shift if you get what I'm saying so um we figured it out so now it's back in uh, H pattern because I twisted it so let me see if I could get you to hear the click so let me put it in neutral like I said, it's hard to do with one hand. So you gotta hold it simultaneously. Okay, there you go. Hope you heard the click. So I kind of rest the phone on. Yeah, so it works. I'm happy I have it. I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna mount it, get it mounted. And that's it, BDH sequential shifter.